you know, I would say just, just go through and collect anything that looks cool, you know, or go, I mean, go, go research, you know, some of the old, you know, greats of like, you know, of blues or jazz, you know, I mean, the Art Tatum's, the Sonny Boy Williamson's, you know, I mean, you know, go look up, you know, like, like great harmonica players, you know, I mean, and go, go, you know, do a little research and find out who all these, you know, old, you know, old guys are so that when you come across them in a album collection, you know, you'll know, you know, and get, you know, get some of these like anthologies and stuff, you know, I mean, don't, I mean, you know, people get stuck in kind of like music kind of genres, you know, and like I only like this, and I only like that. And uh, until you go out and you just actually like have like a real, I mean, pretty much a totally diverse worldwide, you know, historical record collection that you go through and you listen to it. I mean, it gets you listening to music in a whole different way and gets you experiencing music. You know, and music's like, I mean, it's a direct, you know, portal into your emotions. You know, I mean, it'll, you know, it'll get you fired up, you know, it'll make you sad, you know, it's, I mean, it'll just toy with you, you know. I mean, I'll just try to just collect as much as you can, you know, you find somebody that's getting rid of their vinyl or you get, you know, you know, you go to a garage sale or something. It's like, just man, go through it and just, you know, make sure it's just not all scratched up. You can always take them and just clean them up a little bit. You'll just, you'll have a blast just sitting there just listening to all this crazy weird stuff. And it's always, it's always fun to freak your friends out, you know?